care Let's get anymore. to Meek Mill, right? Oh, I'm shutting up here too. <laughs> that was you shutting up just yeah, now? Yeah, you gotta chill on this com this 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 like topic. Cause I'm shutting I, up here. Because my peoples, they say you're going a little too crazy. And that's not there's not nobody from Meek's camp or whatever, but I mean just in general, you know my ties and where I stand. I'm and chill, I kinda, man. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? It's like really what? tense. Really tense today. I thought we were going to have some fun. Yo, this is my... Joe loves tense. <laughs> this is my favorite my type My man just Joe. say, yo, I ain't going to lie. I got the calls. Yo, you got to just... What's going on? I don't... I don't... Because you didn't know all the details. And now that the details are developing, I didn't know all of them. So I didn't want to speak to you about it prior to coming on mm -hmm. this show. But think about it. Now that the details are coming out. Mm -hmm. What's the details? Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I guess let's just go in okay. order for a second. All right. So okay. look, people did go out. What chops? What are you motioning about? OK, relax. Um, there was a rally for him in Philly yesterday at, I believe, the Philly Criminal mm -hmm. Justice Center. So a lot of people came out to support. Fans, other celebrities. Rick Ross was there. The crowd was, um, let's actually just roll the clip. Not gonna say anything. His mic is good. All right, cool. So we want to hear the details you have, but just to put it out there, we know that Meek's team is trying to get the judge off this case. Um, so he told TMZ that they're complaining to the Judicial Conduct Board and filing a motion for her to remove herself from the case. We don't know if it's gonna happen, but can you please let us know what you know? I'm no lawyer, but I listen to his lawyer. Now, what I'm saying is, is that. The details I gather, we all heard the shit about the boys to men shit and what that happened at the mm -hmm. court or whatever. The new shit that kind of like took me for a loop is that he was shooting a music video while he was popping those willies out here in New York and police were actually on the set of the music video while that was happening. He didn't get arrested on the set of the music video. The next day he went to do community service or something for kids and 22 police squad cars came and arrested him as he was walking out the building while doing whatever. So there were eight other guys willying with him doing that. Meek is the only one that's arrested behind it. Now granted, I understand that He's a superstar. Meek is the only one yeah, that, that would notable. be arrested yeah. from that, by the way. But at the same token, you if you don't if there's cops on the scene, they don't make an arrest on the spot. And then you go and look at it and someone sends you footage and then you come to an engagement where this man is with kids and it's in twenty two cop cars to arrest him, like do, do seems any, a little crazy to not, me. Not if you know how probation or parole works. I've never been on probation or parole, so I can't speak to that. Wait, is that the additional information? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, and I, I think when you see, uh, I don't know, I can't speak for Joe, but I can speak for myself. When you see me not jumping on the, yo, let's get Meek Mill out of jail, it's the biggest injustice ever, is that I'm not even looking at this arrest. I admit that this arrest was bullshit. Mm -hmm. I admit that they were probably targeted, but also understanding how hip-hop cops in New York move, I wasn't surprised. But it's still bullshit, right? My thing is, I, it's very hard for me to jump on the free Meek Mill train when... You violated your probation five times. Oh, okay, you got to jump on a free. One. You got to okay, remove this free, free who uh, nobody wants to be in jail. So regardless okay. of the situation, right. how he ended up in jail, what got him to jail, you don't want no black man in jail that ain't no rapist, no child molester, or something, or something to that extent. You know what I'm saying? But we're, we're not having a whole campaign for him, especially when we realize you've gotten so many chances that, and, and this is what I keep saying, like. Meek might be a victim of all this, but let's just be clear, if Meek wasn't rich and famous, and we do know he's black, he would never get half the amount of chances. He's not going past violating his probation three times if he don't got all that money. If he can't get Nicki down there to cry for him, if he can't get all these mayors and everybody else who fuck with him because he has helped the community to testify on his behalf, he's not getting half these chances. So I say all that to say Meek has gotten a lot of chances, and I want him to come out, but it's... It's hard for me to just act like, yo, he's going to jail for two years over a wheelie. So as a real nigga, you feel like it's cool to not support somebody like being in jail? Like, you should, I, I, I understand where y'all coming from. I don't from. want him in jail, but I'm not yeah. going to be at a rally. I don't want him in jail, but I want to be at a rally. Right? Because, again, he's had a lot of chances. Right. I'm not going to say lock him up, 
Definitely no. Yo, but if you could post that fuck shit that you be posting, you could mm. definitely post a petition that help get this nigga out of jail. Well, I don't Period. Post you just put that nigga triple X. We just talked no, no, about no, you no, posting no, that and that street no, no. shit that you in, post that nigga said he's I'm, a rat I'm, and you in the twine well, with him you. snitching on some other hold shit. Hold on, hold on. So you're you? really in the case too, my nigga. Hold if on. it go bad, you're a coca spirit and that whole shit. Because when he and his team is saying academics be posting some stuff that I don't like sometimes. This is the middle of his middle of his album cycle. I'm posting snippets, but I may have posted something where like he's like rapping along or something that had a caption he didn't like. Were you posting things that were like did you post like the slip fall down a stair John? Like he posted, posted it. No no he posted all that. that. He posted that and you was reposted, I even posted you reposted it? Yeah he posted it himself right but that's not even it. What they got mad at was that he was rapping along to some snippet and I think I asked the people what do y'all think he's talking about? Uh, you get me? So again, it's, it's like, and they told me, they say it's like, it's captions and all that. Right. So I say, you know what? I did all this. I just won't post you, period. I won't, on Instagram, I won't post your arrest. I won't post your album coming out. I won't post you with an award. Nothing negative, nothing positive. I didn't post, let me, I uh, wasn't on there like, yo, meet got sentenced to jail. All right, nothing. all right, all right. It's That's fair. That's not fair. Let me, let me, let me reply to what, what you're saying here, Bird. Mm -hmm. And I think this part gets confusing for people. Yes, free Meek Mill, because the justice system is disproportionate. Yes. My perspective, again, is going to be unique because, again, I do feel like the jail system can do some good. I'm probably one of the few that feels that way because of my background and my family and all of that shit, right? Meek is going to come home in 10 to 13 months and be better than ever. He's, he's gonna be in the best possible predicament he could be in. The way that probation and parole works, and a lot of y'all clearly, what I'm just reading, have never been on probation or parole, you can't do anything illegal. Because when you pop that willy in New York, if you know that your judge and, and, and your, at your precinct is after you, then you know that the cops in that precinct are gonna call New York to say, Yo, wheelies, illegal, pick them up the next day. That's not fair. That's not fair and it's not right. I agree. Not, a lot has happened in Meek's case that is wrong and is, not, and is not right. You should not be on probation for this amount of time. All of us will fail. <laughs> All of us here will fail. That's not my point. I like that hip hop has a voice loud enough that can get some changes made in the judicial system. My point is to Meek the artist, because I'm pro artist. So when Meek, I want Meek to utilize this time to the greatest of his ability. So when he goes to sleep at night, and when he asks no one but himself, hey, was I living my life in a way conducive enough to how society feels so that they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't pick me up ever? There was really nothing to dig in. Only he can answer that. That's not for me. That's, that's not for me. But if he answers that question honestly and then comes out and is tr has truly made some changes, then him, the Chasers, Atlantic, everybody that loves that nigga, we won't be here because the action will be preemptive and not post. Like if all these things was happening with the judge, <laughs> We should have been using our power to get the judge out of here. Remember I said that with this case, I'm sure a lot of the love and support that walked in that courtroom helped the last time. This time that stuff probably wasn't there. And now as soon as that stuff is there, they're trying to get the judge off. Guess what? The judge probably should be off. Like, that's a good thing. Because when Meek come home, you still got to go to these hearings and it's going to be the judge still. So that judge should be gone. I agree with everything happening pro-Meek in favor of me. My words are to him, directly to him, that no one will know about but him when he goes to sleep. Because I'm pro artist. He employs too many people. He has to be the most responsible one in his whole crew. You responsible for them all. We can't afford for you to go away. When LeBron leave the game, them niggas is going down. We can't afford for him to leave the game. That means taking some hits that maybe we shouldn't take. Doing the right thing don't always feel good. That's my point with Meek. It is not to uh, ban against. It is not.
because I'm in favor of niggas My in point jail. Let's just put positive energy out there for all black men and just keep this shit moving to the next copy because we don't even really like that. We can't even talk about like fam like that. Like let that develop. Let it be. What that it's is be. that is true. But if all that bended knee shit is true, adios, judge. Sorry. Yeah. But on a lighter note, was dope. Were those the lyrics that they should have sung in front of? All right. <laughs> All right. Never mind then. I was watching this shit. I'm like, do y'all know the lyrics to this song? Is this the song that we want to sing? What song would you pick? Not that one. <laughs> All right. Young Black America. That's what they should have sung. That's a very conscious meek, meek record. Okay. Very conscious. All right. So his team is going to keep pursuing this. We'll stay tuned and see what happens. Hopefully on a lighter. I wanted to come here and laugh and joke with my friends. I know yeah, this guy is fucking three minutes. Three minutes. Bull I'm shit. Think I really yeah. 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 Hey, shit. One shirt is way too sexy for all this fucking <laughs> serious shit we talking about. Can we get into the shit? Right, I, I think we're getting. Wait, something we can make fun of. To a love hip hop reunion or some shit. You know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> Kanye and Taylor Swift. 